little voice reveal for me and bloody good reviews here while I'm playing Wall Town Wonders from Cyborn. I got the opportunity to play the game at Gamescom at their booth in the B2B area. Um, was really excited to play their next title as the previous game Hubris was like one of the prettiest VR games I've ever seen in motion. And now they went the AR route, so AR that is, and um, yeah they're making me play sims on my wall pretty much so uh, as you can see you build these small settlements uh, mining town uh, buildings and other constructions on your wall in AR which means you can play this in your own living room uh, come back to it every day and just see like what evolutions have happened um, here I'm shooting some support beams and failing um, Small note though, this was my first AR experience without controllers uh, outside of the default Quest 3 game where you shoot aliens. And I didn't have the pinching down, so uh, that was Johan helpfully instructing me how to um, better have the Quest register my movements and me failing to listen. Um, so yeah, we're talking to the little inhabitants of the wall town. Uh, at first just this one person, then she's getting the help of a carpenter to help m her make a bridge. As you can see here. Et voila, we can move over to the mining area. What I really loved, and which is not really that apparent in the recording of it on the quest, is just how much depth perception you have when you're looking into those small holes in your wall. Like, I was completely amazed how I could turn my head and just see behind details to uncover even more details, and that was just lovely, and it's so rare to still get a gaming experience that feels fresh and new and it does something that you don't see every day, and this was just that for me. Like, I was blown away about the level of detail I could see through the VR glasses and, like, observe what was happening. Here I'm shooting some TNT. I'm doing a mite. To blow a hole uh, next to the starting area and then being able to send a miner down and collect some ores and other materials I would need to build stuff. Luckily, um, because that's not really my favorite aspect of games like this, I was also given like an infinite supply of wood and stone and iron to build things. So later on in the demo I needn't concern myself with, uh, with seeing if I had enough materials to build. You'll see a few cuts here and there when I'm playing because I had some issues registering the pinch and also pressing the OK or yes no button. That's probably not the game's fault, but more like not clean lenses or something, or the not ideal room at Gamescom with lots of noise, uh, visual and light pollution, shiny floors, stuff like that. And also worth mentioning is this is still a very early build of the game. Though it is coming out pretty soon, I think it was the end of November this year. So here I'm instructing my miner to go down some ladders but first getting rid of his message and then instructing him to clear out some of the rubble and mine some ores again this really looks so amazing in real life versus just a recording of the quest 3 and i'm also kind of uh, regretting that i didn't change the settings first to a widescreen recording and we only have the square one but still i think it shows clearly like what you can expect from the game by the way in the background now you can see some hubris uh, footage which is also a vr game you should definitely check out on quest playstation vr 2 And Cyborn is also known for their motion capture services, which they of course applied into their own games as well. Time 
time to build some extra structures. Let's go for a stockpile. And I really can't wait to keep testing the game in my own house and like pick the walls and locations where I should place the buildings. And then um, listen to my family go crazy as they see me swatting in the air and pointing to stuff because they can't see what I'm doing. Just like uh, the supervisor Yuan here was very frustrated when I said like, I can't do this or I can't do that. And he couldn't really explain me what to do because he didn't have a live feed of my, what I was seeing, of course. Ah uh, yeah, I really love this part. So you can pick up uh, characters and leave them uh, on your flat hand and even move them from one hand to the other, it was amazing. Uh, and the goal now is she's actually searching for something to dig. Um, and I didn't notice this right away. But she's pointing in like a direction she wants to go. And then I tried to squash her, that didn't work luckily. I'm having a little look around and see if I can find out where she wants to go. But I didn't yet realize that the floor was an option, so I was looking around the walls. I was like, do you want to go to the floor? She said, sure. So let's put her on the floor. I had to really resist the urge here to not try and step on her just to see what happens. I swear I'm a nice person, but... <laughs> In games I want to experiment and see like what's the limit of my possibilities here. So as instructed, I now have to aim my wristband at her location and then blow some air up so the dust is cleared. And she released some butterflies, which will be important for a later mission. So she's looking for the mayor of the wall town. Apparently he's in the ground somewhere. So let's pick her up and help her dig some more. Looks like she wants me to go near the coffee table. Or on the coffee table even. Yep, she really wants to go on that table. And uh, Johan here was telling me that's the first time that happened during a demo. But it gives us a closer look at it without me looking like an idiot with my face against the floor. So that's a good bonus. And in the background we can see like Gamescom is happening in full swing. I know it looks empty, but it's the B2B area at the end of Friday. Like the last day the event was open, so people are already clearing the booths. But Gamescom had like 350,000 visitors that year, so you're just gonna have to believe me when I said it was busy. <laughs> Time to blow some air away again. And me struggling with the pinch motion again. And there's our mayor. This is the giant who's been helping us out. Would be nice having a giant doing construction for you and helping you out. So now I have to bring the mayor back to the town. But I was a little bit worried where she was going off and then you see she's like walking in thin air. And then I made her disappear. But that's because uh, the digging t stuff spawned on the table and I think it's normally supposed to happen on the floor. But still, I thought it was a really nice aspect. A nice touch to the table is also an option. Delivering the mayor to his location.
again so so happy I didn't have to mine for ore or chop some timber first or lumber uh, before I could build these things I really love the the creative aspect of it and looking into those buildings and seeing what's asked of me next but at the same time uh, if the full game has a lot of mining I hope there's like an easy mode to it or an option for me to get like extra resources so I don't have to spend too much time on that aspect but it's like so well designed all of the buildings and locations and the depth to it I can recall spending more time like in real life actually looking into those houses but it's not apparent from the video recording but I also got some stuff left and right I think I had about a half an hour of a recording and shortened it down to about 20 minutes just so you don't see me aimlessly pointing at buttons and not getting them to work for a while but again not the game's fault and surely something I think will be fixed by the time it launches. Just the demo effect, like always happens. Alright, I really love this bit. So here we have a hot air balloon arriving with the cook. And they're asking us to like open a window to blow some air, but luckily we have a tool on our wristband that also helps with giving them some direction and wind in the back. By the way, let me know in the comments if my voice narration of such videos annoys you or if you think it's an added uh, value because I'm really self-conscious about how I'm sounding right now. <laughs> Especially with my Flemish English accent. Who's hungry? Luckily we brought a pizza chef, so everybody will be happy now. can build towns on an empty stomach. Massive respect for all YouTubers who just effortlessly provide feedback whenever they make videos or streamers doing live commentary. I don't think that's got away from me, but hey, here's me trying anyway. Let's build a restaurant. I wonder how far I can push the limits of the room and the size of the town when I'm in my own, uh, own house trying the game later and like being able to put the restaurant in a different room or something. I'm curious if that will work out. Something to be explored later. So that was the introduction. Pretty much everything they're telling me like this is how you do stuff. But they gave me some options to upgrade things, uh, build new settlements, and also some mini games that you'll see later. So stay tuned to see what they have me do next. But if you're like me, you can't resist all those nice shiny red dots saying like you have one notification, notification here. Uh, you can upgrade this thing. Like instantly you have to try it, right? Here you can see some interaction between characters. And again, can't overstate how much better this looked in real life when I'm moving my head around and I can actually see in very high detail inside of the restaurant. The, like, the feeling of depth here is amazing. Uh, it felt like I could put my hand through the wall, which luckily I was smart enough not to do. But it really blew me away. So here's the chef is cooking something up and he has a pizza oven but he chose to get the pizza probably from a microwave sneaky chef bon appetit ciao bella yeah i was wondering if i could just pinch up and take like any random character Though that would be cruel. Imagine you're sitting down to have your dinner or your lunch and then a giant just plucks you up 
because they feel like it. Makes you wonder, I would not be a good person to put into the prison experiment. A hero is experimenting with the balloon a little bit, and as you can see I can just make it bounce on my hand, which was very fun, and I probably kept doing too long. Probably to the regret of the captain piloting the balloon, who is now feeling very nauseous. So let's put him back in his place, after just a few bumps. Poor guy. Time to dock you. There you go, you're docked again. What's next? Kuchiku. We're constructing an airfield now. Like, I don't know if I was supposed to see a highlight somewhere, but apparently it built it on the left of me. And probably there was like a, are you sure you want to put it here, uh, icon on the wall as well, but I didn't look beforehand. And there is our airplane. I'm ready for takeoff. So controls for this were surprisingly simple. Because remember, we are not just aiming in 3D, we, are, we have the full spectrum of motion here. So telling that airplane to go to a really specific location felt like a struggle. But the game is smart enough, like it knows where it needs to go, so it also aims you there just a little bit. Except if I'm aiming at the floor. <laughs> so let's try to do it for real right now. Fly through all of the hoops. That one spawned a little far away from us. And that one even further. And you see it's like fighting against the limits of the available room that we told the plane it would have. But still we make it. Now we're flying back. And now we have to chase those butterflies we released earlier. So I have 4 out of 7 here. 6 out of 7. 7 out of 7. All I have to do now is land the plane safely, which I failed. And here I was a little bit unsure if I completed the task or not, so I left it alone for a while while I build some more stuff. me struggling with the input again. Now where should I put this? The airplane was a little confused there with what I wanted to do. Let's hope the pilots have parachutes and jetpacks or ejectable seats to save them. What else can I build? A garden. Gotta have some flowers and fruits, right? I figured let's put it close to the restaurant. If you want some fresh tomatoes. And here I was thinking my wife would really love playing this game because there is like a sims vibe to it where you're keeping your inhabitants happy by building stuff they not only need for their everyday things but just like relaxation and places to go and escape from their busy lives mining and being looked at by giants. I think it was, it's like the, the, the best in-depth 3D experience I've had in AR, VR since Moss, where I recalled like really having fun playing with the tiny mouse, giving him high fives, 
instructing him to do stuff. Here I am having another go at catching seven butterflies. My good friend Rami was flying over Gamescom right before it happened. I'm flying an airplane inside of Gamescom. How's that? And then I crashed. <laughs> That's probably why I shouldn't be allowed behind the steering wheel of a real airplane. Bye bye. This was fun. Good show everyone. Good effort. If you never want to hear my voice again, let me know in the comments. If you think I should try this some more, also let me know. And I'll see you around. Bye bye.